Hello. Today I would like to share with you a ship tutorial for beginners. There are time codes if you want to skip around. Uh, this will be a comprehensive tutorial, uh, maybe not fully comprehensive, but I will be going step by step so you should be able to follow along. You can build this ship very early on in the game. There are no level requirements, no skill requirements. You will need money though. If you want to go the cheaper option, you will have to finish the Free Star Rangers questline and get the Star Eagle. The Star Eagle is a good ship and I would recommend it, even if you're not ready for ship building. Uh, but if you don't want to play through the entire questline, then you're going to have to buy a ship. And ships aren't cheap, so in total you need about 208,440 credits. Or if you go the cheaper option, it's about 75,465 credits. And those numbers aren't set in stone for a few reasons. The main one being that if you do happen to be a higher level, then you will want to get the better versions of some parts that I list. A better grav drive for one. And since it's going to take you time to get the money and or play the quest line to get a ship, then you might want to stick around for the end because I'll give you a couple tips on what you need to build better ships. Also, this ship is inspired by a ship Gunshy Ghosts made, so if you're a higher level then you should probably just build that. Link is in the description. So first, we need to go to the Voli system. Voli Alpha, specifically. Land on Neon, then come out here to this building, talk to this guy, and buy the War Horse. And there it is. Now go into Neon, take a left out of the elevator to the end, where there's the red walls. Take this elevator to Teo Astroneering, then go right into here and talk to Veronica Young. Click I'd like to view and modify my ships. And there it is. First we're gonna zoom out and move this cockpit in HAB. Go into bays and get the shipbed landing bay. Go into gear and get this 4G landing gear. Put it here and we're going to need four of these so to copy just press Control, then G. Let's just take these engines, put them in the back. Take your reactor, put it above the landing bay. Take these helium tanks, place them there. Go into structural and we're going to need five equipment plates. Put them on the landing gear and reactor. Now just take this docker, put it on the hab. Go into graph drives, take the R1000 Alpha, or just the best one you have, and put it also on the hab. Now you have your own choice for weapons, so use whatever you like, but I'm going to delete these, keep these dragon lasers, and put them on the equipment plates. And you can hover over the equipment plates and press G and choose your weapons from there. And I'm just going to temporarily put these missiles here. Go into cargo and get these V102s. We need two of them. And you can flip by pressing Z. And we can actually delete all of this. Notice that we got some money for them. And you'll notice that we have an error. All you need to do is hit C and basically we have to assign our weapons. And you can have warnings and still fly a ship, just not errors. And then save. Now we're going to the solar system, or Sol. Go to Mars, and there's the demo shipyard next to it. Dock with it. Go over here, to the stairs, and talk to Nikayo Henderson. Go to Habs and we're going to want the 2x1. Now you can get Habs at a different shipyard if you'd like, uh, but since we're here let's get these. And you can choose what you would like the interior to be. So you don't have to do what I do, 
but I'm going to first get a control station. And we'll copy that, but change them again to whatever you like. I'm going with the workshop and captain's quarters. Then just add some companion ways, put them in the back and put one underneath in the middle. And to lower a raise, just hold control and then use the scroll wheel. Move the cockpit over. Move the camera to see underneath. Go to dockers and we're going to place the slim docker under that companion way. Flip it first. Take these helium tanks, put them on the sides of the companion way. Move the landing bay to here. Take the landing gears, put them here. Now we're going to do a glitch, but it's not too hard. Just temporarily move these. Take your cargo hold. You'll see that it won't let you put it here, so we'll flip it, cancel, then place. Press Z twice, then tab, then space. And now it's okay. Do the same for the other side. I'll show it again. And put these back. Let's place our weapons. Don't forget the missiles. Take the grav drive and reactor and put them here. We can delete this. Go to engines. We're just going to take this M1. Uh, again, you might have better ones, but place them at this level and we'll need three. Let's add two of these 100 cm ballast cargo uh, below the engines. Lastly, we're going to put a shield generator on the middle engine. We're going to stay in the solar system and go to one of Saturn's moons, Titan, to the new homestead. Talk to this ship technician. Now we add the cockpit, so delete this, then take the Cabot C3 bridge, make sure it's level, then we're going to have four of these Nova cow wings. Make sure they're all flipped accordingly. And that's it here. We're almost done. Go to the Narian system and you'll see this planet on the right uh, with a place called Star Station. It might be named the Stroud Eklund Star Yard for you, but this is where you want to go. And more than likely you're going to find him at either that desk or in this cubicle over here, but his name is Haversham. Let's first start by temporarily moving these weapons, because we're going to need to do another glitch. In structural, you're going to find the nose cap B, put that in the middle, then find cap A, and put four of them down. Flip accordingly. Then we're going to place the weapons one at a time. So flip, cancel, and place. And make sure that it's facing the right way. And that's it. Uh, I would save it before painting. Uh, to paint, just hover over the part and press J and color it however you feel. I made mine green. It's a little sore in the eyes, but hey, no one will mistake my ship for someone else's. A uh, quick look at the interior. Oh, and you can rename it if you want. The option is in the flight check menu. Here's a look around.
Let's let this horse run. Weapon check. And there you have it. So just some quick tips. The higher your character level, the more parts are available to you. Um, and there's two main skills that you should upgrade if you're going to buy any ships in the future. In the tech tree, you'll need to level up piloting and starship design. Piloting will help you build all classes of ships. You can only build class A ships in the beginning of the game. Uh, the class is determined by the reactor, so there are class A, B, and C reactors. And starship design will give you permission to build all sorts of different parts, so that's really important. And lastly, I would suggest building a landing pad with ship builder in an outpost. This makes it so that you will have to do a lot less traveling. And that's all. I hope you like this tutorial.